Welcome to Video Game Maker's Chaperone Book. Today, banana boring, right? Today we're looking at the Sonic Forces main menu. Now th there are some verbs you can perform <sighs> on the screen, such as quit, There's a lot of options, or episode shadow. But the Urchin. real engaging addition on the screen is New Game, Urchin. where you can explore a whole new... Fuck, I, I, don't, I don't know the joke. Sonic <laughs> Space hey, Adventure. Yes. Space. <laughs> yeah, you did yeah. space for one second in, in Sonic Forces. Anyway, yeah. yeah. so welcome game designers of the internet. Today we're going oh, to no. be checking out... Another well-known game designer on YouTube.com. A fellow Mark game designer. Brown. Also I was looking for friends. Awesome. Also known as Game Maker's Toolkit. You, you may have seen this guy, like, pop up in your recommended. Like, everyone has had it before. And Who? He uh, hasn't popped up in my recommended. Yeah, you just yeah, watched I the really kind of videos. Well, I, I remember seen seeing it before, either. just never watching them. You watch the wrong kind of videos to lead you down. No, I, I I don't watch videos like this. I swear. Mm, <laughs> what, what's wrong? You trying to make a, a 3D platformer it. as well? Stop denying. Well, I, I watch the videos now for the for the recording, but not before. Listen, I, I understand. It's okay if you want to make just another uh, 2D indie platformer with the <laughs> Lord. If you don't need videos to learn how to do that, well, you never need him for anything, but. Most people don't think much of him because they, they just like, oh, it's a video game, like, game making analysis channel. But when you actually watch a video from him, it's That's life changing. This guy <laughs> said basically for 15 minutes straight. Oh, now it's actually 20 videos. Jesus Christ. All right, 20 Ooh, minutes, whatever. God. He Long just says content. the most obvious shit in the most pretentious way. And then, and then he's like, oh, this is like in Cuphead or whatever, just whatever. Jump. He, he just, he's very good at wasting time, and but sounding deep while doing it. And all the comments for, for his videos are just like, oh my god, I learned so much from this. Th thank you, Mark. <laughs> really uh, makes you feel like a game maker. Those aren't free blocks. thinkers. <laughs> they're, they're sheep. Yeah. So yeah. how about we learn some game design today? I'm a free thinker. Ga Wait, hold on. Before we start, I just want to ask, what do you think he calls his fans? Do you think he calls them game tools? Game tools? Because, tool. be <laughs> because, because, no, hear me out. I think it would be rather fitting to call people who say they learn shit from that tools. Anyways. <laughs> so, so we're going to start with this video, The Secret of Mario's Jump, and other versatile verbs. God, I yeah, yeah. never get employed. <laughs> I've already told most of, uh most of the guys here about uh, about this video they're not completely blind but it's whatever so he calls buttons or like actions video games verbs so quote unquote <laughs> because it's so fucking retarded Jesus that sounds God. so much more this, profound like, like okay no you know this guy keeps a diary under his pillow saying shit like that jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> No, I assure you, outside of this diary. video, he never says the word hey, verb again. I... Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Even, like, even in English class, he like dances around saying it. Yeah. Also, I, yeah, I'm sure we'll find out the secret to Mario's jump. Okay, let's begin. I'd hate to be his therapist. Super Mario is famous Super for Mario. his jump. Ah, oh, he's British! He was so great. In his very first game, Donkey Kong, Mario's leap was incredibly simple. You could do one jump while standing. Oh uh, no 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 no! You, you can yeah. move while doing it. That, that's still a versatile that's verb. As you'll see. No later. no, that's too complex. He'll get into that, of course. <laughs> yeah. He's... And another while running. Also, that's not Mario. In air, and the animation is the same every single Kinda. time you press the button. When it comes to verbs, this jump is pretty basic. The standard jump, for example, is no more complicated than press A to do B. Are, are you guys learning? Are, are you learning so <laughs> I'm much learning. right now? I already effect. know all the <laughs> stuff. Press A to do B. That's literally every single button in a game. That, that That's that's what a video game is. Thank you, Mark Brown. Yeah. Recent games, like, I think you guys didn't know that and you're just bluffing. The plumber's jump is way more interesting. 
Mario's jump is just one example of what I call versatile God. <laughs> there aren't other people like him, right? He has to be one of a kind. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, um, like, the, the comments I mean, you say they learn so much are probably influenced by this. Yo, what's up, my toolbox? Is today we're going to be discussing the versatile <laughs> words of Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> a great starting point for action oriented games. Because action oriented. So you know, you know how many games have a button that does more than one thing? That's not. Well, no, that's not true. Sure. I mean, I'm sure there's one game that only has a button that does one thing. Tricky choices. As I hope to show you in this video, it means interesting gameplay full of interesting tricky choices gameplay. and player expression. This video is called the, the Secret of Mario's Jump, not the Secret of Hold on, wait, wait. This, he doesn't have, like, the labels in the top corner of his games. How will I know what he's playing? This is too hard. I don't, as a viewer, I need to be fed this information. Give me the spoon. Uh, funny you say that crazy, because... <laughs> Three quarters of this video isn't about Mario, it's just about buttons. And then, like, at the end, he half adds some Mario connection. Oh, right, I was talking Often about Mario. More satisfying and reduce the number of buttons that a game needs to have. So, on no, 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 I, I actually, funny he's pointing out 3D World because the worst part of that game is that everything was mapped to the Y button. Like, hmm. he just knows his Mario Bros. Because awesome they're dumb, so they want everything to be like a, a, a two button thing only. So, uh, yeah, it was dumb. Episode of Game Makers. Because verbs are driven this... by buttons, all it's these fucking British YouTubers sound the same. <laughs> Dude. Uh, I mean, no, no, some of no, them, here's the thing, some of them sound like slightly more incoherent or pretentious, and that's like the only variation. It's yeah, like, I, I feel like a British voice is like the perfect pretentious video essay oh, voice. For oh, for sure. It's Mario. Amazed. For example, what's the difference between for example, pressing ooh. a button? The right listen, opinion listen teaches you game design. Listen to this. You know, he's like a slightly less... I don't know. I don't know. Mm. It's useful to think of the different ways that a button can be used. For example, what's the difference between pressing a button and holding it down? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the difference? Between pressing Thank you a button for sharing. Welcome to fucking video game kindergarten. Put, put that on a shirt. Like, that's, that's so deep. <laughs> I feel like I learned so much. Hashtag Mark Brown quotes. Like Boy, actually at a fire rate is slower than if you hammer the button in rapid succession. Hammer that the guy button. looks like a There's nerd. no choice to make. But in Mega Man... What? What do you mean no <laughs> choice to make? You, you, ma you presented a choice. Hold it down or, or mash the button. You can either mash and be skillful or uh, other thing. Yeah, th th that that's a choice. Max, you can press and yeah, the choice is to not have low broken hands five years down. And the uh, button down in Mega Man X, you can press the fire button to shoot a tiny low-powered pellet, or hold that same button down to charge up a bigger and more powerful blast. But d did Mega, Mega Man invent board. holding, like charging a shot? I think he's yeah. using it as an example, but yes, Mega Man clearly did invent that. No, just the way he words it's like, in, in Mega Man X exclusively, <laughs> you can charge this shot down. If you've unlocked this piece of oh, armor, of course, I mean, obviously, because Mega Man started all trends, to but charge yeah. Up even more deadly shots, and doing a small amount of damage immediately, or doing a large amount of damage in the future. <laughs> in the future, like when you're holding it down for a day. If you played a video game, you know this. Yeah. You don't need Mark like, Brown to tell you this. Okay, okay, no. I feel like if he were to make, like, a... He's what people want... Okay, sorry, let me try to phrase this. I feel like when someone says they want a game to be hand-holdy, this is what I imagine. Like, just him voicing over every single detail and explaining exactly what you have to do and everything. Oh my god. It's just like, imagine you walk Mark... into a pit in a mar like, you walk up to a pit in a Mario game, and then it just stops. The screen goes black, and then 
Mario can jump by pressing the A button. Imagine Mario. if I... Uh... When on a hill, you can roll. <laughs> Mark Brown was like a, like a <laughs> tutorial character in, in a game. I'd delete the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'd find. I'd try to find some way to like fight him. That that render <laughs> half the game just terrible. And risk huh? of getting hurt while the you shot think charges. Whatever. Yeah. Is the cooked grenade? You can throw a grenade there it immediately, is. and it will bounce around a bit before grenade. exploding. If you hold a Titan explosive longer, <laughs> it'll explode sooner. <laughs> yeah. You can hold on True. to a grenade for a couple seconds and then throw it so it explodes in midair. This isn't game analysis. This, this, that happens in real life. No, <laughs> it's, a ta it's a sick trick and tip in Call of Duty. What are you, you doing? Real, real life weapons analysis. <laughs> Whoops. I the decision. <laughs> he fucking says whoops. I think he's the, the first person in history to ever die in a Far Cry whoops. anything past three game. I think that was like the only time in this video where Mark Brown is like a human. He actually expresses <laughs> emotion. I, I mistake. I make mistakes too, guys. Trust me. <laughs> Just like you all. I am not an AI. I am one of you, one of your reward. flesh and blood. How far, Mario, you can tap the button for a short <laughs> hop, or hold the button down <laughs> to give yourself more height. Can you pause it? Making what Mario mean? the cooked grenade of mobility the cooked options. Grenade of... <laughs> the cooked grenade of... What? You don't, you don't get that joke yet, what? You have to wait for that part of the video. Here's a different way to think about uh, holding buttons. What In are the you game, the cooked Luft grenade browsers, of? You hold, make a choice between offense and defense, and you'll swing between the two throughout the battle. Okay, that, that's, that's kind of cool, like, you have to, you can only reload or repair whatever when you're not shooting, so you have to, like, time whenever you shoot or not. The, the big problem I have with this guy is, he can point out interesting stuff with game design, but he just says it. He doesn't do any kind of analysis, it's just, you can He's do like, yeah, this. Exists. If you press this button, it does this. If you perform this verb, and pull off that sweet move where you whip around and blast that away. Sweet at move. That sounds wrong. With him saying that. Yeah. <laughs> really it sounds like inhuman. Like a text-to-speech bot said it. Yeah, he does well, something yeah. text-to-speech thing. Dark Souls, where your stamina meter restores by slowly. Oh, if you're holding here your we shield, go. Your eyes will be darting back and forth between. Just the be good at dodging, nerd. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, true. Say, what's he saying? Your eyes will be darting back and forth between the stamina meter and the enemy who's about to kick your ass. So you have to keep moving your eye to see the, the meter. Isn't that just well, shitty HUD design? You just have to pay attention. That That's just shitty, like, UI design. Why does he sound like the Easter egg hunter but older? What? Are they both British? They, they, they just sound the same. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I really enjoy the creative form of easter eggs, and you just really never know what on earth the developers are going to come up with next. And the same can be said about this episode today. And then you've got... I'm Motor not surprised Storm. you don't know who that is. Here ...and the enemy who's about to kick your ass. And then you've got Motorstorm, which is a bit like the cooked grenade of racing games. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's jump is the cooked grenade of platforms. <laughs> Elaborate, Mark. No, he's just saying, because you hold, you charge something, then it's like a cooked grenade. I'm the cooked grenade of the new shit. Yeah. <laughs> Incorrect. I'll the explode any minute. But, like, it's just holding down the button. It's not, it's not deep to say it's like a cooked grenade, because every game is holding down a button. And then someone's going to try to Tetris and make you look like a real, f actually, wait. Anyways, ignore that. Uh, you, you hold down soft drop in Tetris. That, that's the cook grenade of puzzle games. Making it, no, making it the cooked grenade of puzzle games. <laughs> but hold it too long and your car will explode. So you've got the same button to... <laughs> the I, I don't know why, just that animation of... Wait, 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 play that exploding. again, play that again. I will explode. Real quick. You spend the entire race cooked grenade in graphical this button, fidelity. trying yeah. to push your car to in my cooked a grenade can car. Also be pressed more than once. What is it? What? Wait, listen, listen. A button can also be pressed more than once. <laughs> Deep game analysis. <laughs> 
Oh my god. This guy, so would, deep. this guy would have a meltdown playing any traditional fighter. Oh my god. Also, his best example is, is a, is a uh, quick time event. I mean, hey, you have to press the button more than once. <sighs> I want to see this guy either play a traditional fighter or Doom Eternal. Just yeah. I want to watch him crumble. Pressing it again leads to another. <laughs> certainly with a timing window on that second press. So insane. Oh, he's like gonna love uh, where you have thanks, to choose the per thanks for explaining how simple but how leap. single button Throw combos work. Oh, wait, he's he's the explained whole, double, the double verb. Mid air jumps and you get the manic thrill. Behold the double verb. The double verb. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Why is there a jump scare? I, I got double verbed in Gears of War. Press it again. I'm gonna call all my like jabs and smash the double. Line is in the right spot. Okay, that's cool. Get a damage. Can you give some insight about it, Mark? All your next shots. It takes one of those double press, and then you never explain it. about it. And gives it this satisfying. He's just pointing at examples. It's like this exists in a video game. Yeah, and most says it's it's engaging and satisfying. Into a more powerful attack. If you follow it up with two more jabs of the same button, things get much more interesting. We call those auto combos. <laughs> and yeah, they're... Those are brain dead. Yeah, and they're brain dead. Nobody actually likes that kind of mechanic. However, if no one he's going to like bust when he holds down the A button. That's because bizarre. verbs can take on whole new meanings when you combine them. <laughs> You've got a basic attack. That, that's such a loaded like... statement. Verbs can take on whole new meaning. It's <laughs> <Whole new laughs> just kindergarten, <laughs> honestly. Like I feel like yeah, it's just kindergarten. But that whole thing. Like, video game, th that sentence just means buttons <laughs> do different things. Two different buttons. This sort of combination requires timing and a skillful understanding of how and when. A skillful understanding. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just press the attack button in the air. Good God. If you haven't first moved him what do you do? next to an opponent, I, I have no idea what this is. can forge an even deeper connection, which brings us back. Well, are you forging a deeper jump. connection with Mr. <laughs> the <laughs> What's angle his face? and distance of Mario's jump is directly connected to his horizontal direction and speed before you press the A button. Disagreed. If you move in a direction. And then you jump in that direction. You yeah. go in that direction. Yeah. So true. So I true. Feel enlightened. The I only think way to being too hard on our boy. Then, is to start with a run up. You can also move. Run before air. jumping. That that that's what that's a thing that? in real life. Like, <laughs> if you can apply this to real life, then you don't need to be told this. Hey, but it's a video game, and it, it, it you just don't understand game design. Yeah. And perform different jumps. <laughs> like you ruin the industry. Or an abrupt and nuanced modification of your leap that the two must be kept separate. You, you can go in different directions and different speeds. Isn't yeah. that like l l like a, a whole move Mario sense? Games? Like he considers like okay. jumping left and jumping right like two different moves in the move set. Yeah. Or crouch in midair for a ground pound, which can transition into another springy leap. That might sound complicated, but. <laughs> that might sound pause. Complicated pause. Ground pounding is complicated, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very complex. Just pretend the video is saying what you want it to say. Yeah. <laughs> but the moves feel like the natural outcome of the combined verbs. So. The what the hell does that mean? <laughs> Th that's just word salad. Wait, what was that again? One is that the moves feel like the natural outcome of the combined verbs. The, the, the natural outcome of the combined verb of the verb. <laughs> Jeez. That just means Can if he... you do the buttons together, it does a thing. God. It's game analysis. This an excuse by thinking of it in terms of combining verbs instead of combining buttons. It's easier to think about what move. No. <laughs> what? If you think about it, <laughs> how is that part. easier to understand? You're you're overcomplicating it. Would intuitively arise from that Jesus combination. Christ. The other thing to note is that you almost I like, never. I hope this guy talks like this in real life. Oh yeah, like, like like super like uh, like instead of saying I got here, he says I arrive. No, like <laughs> so like, like in a tone where he's always trying to teach you something, but yeah, but you not already like, know it. Yeah. 
to I get know, to the but end I'm of a Mario game. They're just about... extra skills for pro players who want to express pro themselves. <laughs> you hear that? The ground instead pound of, instead is of... for pro players. Yeah. Uh, or when he makes want them... to express themselves. Oh, goodbye, Mario. Uh, these are all force the player to make loads of rapid fire decisions or give the player no, really you're, you're just you're just holding down a button that's not a decision expressive verbs that can no, be it's used to an expressive all verb sorts Ex expressive ways. verbs there are, but there are drawbacks to keep in mind too these versatile verbs can be troublesome for those with discomfort or disability issues that can arise uh, from uh, holding buttons, pressing LDR, buttons, why are you talking about this? repeatedly tapping buttons. I don't know, because he really cares what the common game, man is. Game, game accessibility game. title. What, why are we talking about this? Like, you'd have issues with everything you talk about in video games. Like, if you're... Which is why there should be auto combo, so they can help the common man. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm specifically verb disabled. I, I cannot, I cannot perform uh, versatile <laughs> verbs. Listen to this guy next to question if I'm like up to par with intelligence or if, like he's just too far. He's also, too far above me. EA Bioware. <laughs> That's a guy I trust. <laughs> EA Bioware. Oh, he works at Bioware. So by looking at Mario's jump more on. Wait, I don't mean to be insensitive. Just gamer disabled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you'd like cling to that label, but okay. I, yeah, it's just a funny title. I I, I don't, you know, you're oh, allowed to be disabled. You're yeah. Uh, you should just stop taking my parking spots. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Copycat. Anyways, uh, good. We can see how this one verb can be modified. Oh, he, he just died there. Nice job. No. On whether you press. Or alert. Whether you transition okay, 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 depending okay. on whether just, you press. Is he just repeating the same button. shit again? Play play one Mario game and you figured this out. There is no yeah. secret. Button. Whether you transition no, I mean, I, I didn't know that because uh, I play better games. Like whether you're holding the wrong button before blast. you hit jump. <laughs> And I mean, on how you move the I bet Overwatch has some pretty versatile verbs. Maybe it's a good oh. game now. Let, let me tell you, dude, those verbs, so versatile, you have no idea. Super Mario 64, you can even press the jump button repeatedly with like no Super Mario 64. A triple jump. This intense that, that, that. level of versatility is triple jump. This intense level of versatility... In intense <laughs> level of versatility! <laughs> it's critical mass! <laughs> Too much Mario versatility. Has, yeah. As you all know, Mario has the most intense gameplay. That before you might Nintendo pop even if this keeps up. Like, oh, he's, level, it's too versatile. Jump yeah. Things are going too far. Satisfying, and so is this the secret? Th those are like his, his three words. Uh, wait, I, I already forgot it. <laughs> jump is fun. You got this. Satisfying. Yeah, fun, satisfying, and expressive. And expressive. You can just say this about any game. Like, you know, Overwatch is fun... Exp and expressive. I mean, there are some so, games that aren't particularly this, expressive, I'm sure, jump, but like, well, I, I know what you mean. It's, of, it seems like something that doesn't need to be said. It's one oh, of those unspoken things. Just My favorite part of this video, actually, tiny is right handful here. Of buttons. And so, is this the secret to Mario's jump? Well, sort of. It's definitely a big part of the equation, but there's a bit more to it than that. It, it's not even... You don't even get it. You don't even get the secret to Mario's jump in the video titled The Secret to Mario's Jump. That was just Give me my answer. So cool. That was ten minutes of fluff. Give me my answer. Ten minutes of fucking nothing. Yeah. More things to consider when I feel educated. I don't know about you guys. So consider this he video a big a word. He just, one of sorts. And he just fed you a big meal of fuck all. He, he just said the he's side gonna, of He's gonna do a part two. One thing I've noticed in a couple of videos I watched. <laughs> He always teases a part two and then never does it. Due to people figuring it out for themselves? Yeah, probably. Yeah, so I, I don't know what's up with that, but... Well, um, I mean, I knew the secret I knew the secret tomorrow's jump party, so I really just wanted to see if he did, yeah, but I guess he did Maybe if I... Uh, yeah. Maybe, like, it's a way to keep people watching. Or maybe but... he wants to see if someone comments the real answer down below so he can put it into a video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just isn't sure. This is a long way to say, please help, guys. I don't understand how to tell a... <laughs> what if this? What if his videos are just like comments compiled into one script, and he just just lists he lists them all down? 
That would explain the dis the feeling of disconnection in uh, his verbs. Yeah. If you like this sort of video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Special thanks to the no. on screen who donated. Yes. I bet all of these guys are proud. <laughs> Leo, Leo, I hope you're happy. I really hope you're happy. Hold on, okay. hold on wait. P pick the Aaron Hansen that list. What? Huh? Of course he would. Huh? Of course Aaron Hansen would. Wait, is this no, the same Aaron? Okay. Is this like Is this like Game Wait. Grumps Aaron Hansen? The Aaron Wait, Hansen? Wait, isn't this last name spelled an E or an O? I don't remember. Hold I on, Google I'm it. pretty sure. Josh? Josh? <laughs> Listen, dude. I hope you're happy. <laughs> if, 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 if you love it yourself, then... Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it's... Big man Hold on, let me see. It's, it yeah, Hans it's spelled the same way as it is in the video. Oh my god, it could be him. Jesus Christ. Uh, Five dollars or more per episode. I knew episode bad taste. Game. Trying to look for any other names. I, I, I hope to know. god it's him. Yeah, like... <laughs> Imagine this is like his guilty pleasure. or He like watches this uh, to like learn. Yeah. <laughs> He well watches done. this okay. to learn it's more about right. Sonic about games. He's like, <laughs> learning this so he can. He's so watching uh, them all so he can like better critique around. Sonic colors. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Actually, since he brought up his Patreon, I feel like I'm, I might as well mention it. Uh, where does Patreon is? So, guess how much money he makes a month? Uh, forty bucks. Well, this is in Canadian, so that's not that far off. He makes fifteen thousand a month. Fifteen thousand a month. And he has forty five hundred fucking patrons. That is wow. Hold on, fifteen thousand a month. How much is that in a year? I don't know. And he barely that's like, a hundred. That's a hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year. Oh my god! And and like. Even this upload schedule, like, it's barely like even a, 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 like a video a month. And that's like CFO money. Like, that is how much someone makes for, like, doing the finance, like, like the top level of a company. So you, you have to go to, make... like, college for, like, years for that. All for what? You just make one shitty video like that, and you get $15,000. That is so enraging. Jesus Christ, this dude is making the money that a CFO makes for making this. Yeah, from saying obvious shit on YouTube. Uh, but they, um, it's, it's a cool, it's a toolkit, it's a toolkit. It's, it's, yeah, it's for game makers. I'm, I'm helping. I'm, Are you a game maker? I'm helping, no. I'm helping. 